Guys, I have a bunch of YouTube channels and we keep discussing technology topics on those channels, be it solar, be it home appliances, be it air conditioning. And when it comes to air conditioning, there is a common trend which I noticed in my comment section. Now, a lot of guys will often comment on my air conditioning videos that sir, I brought a particular 1.5 ton AC after watching your guide because you suggested that for 150 square feet, go for a 1.5 ton AC. So I brought it from my nearby mall or showroom or from like any online source and then i properly installed it again using your guide but unfortunately after installing that ac i do not have any satisfaction with the cooling the cooling performance is simply not there then guys what i do is i get some more details from that person and then i notice that oh boy your ac is not 1.5 tons your ac is only 1.25 or 1.3 ton and guys unfortunately since 2023 what i am seeing is a really heavy cheating which is happening with respect to the cooling capacity or with respect to the genuine tonnage of the air conditioner and guys uh, the amount of cheating that is happening is uh, so high in this particular year that i thought that i should make a dedicated video and warn you about it because we have talked about this problem way back in those days but i think that a dedicated video will really hammer the point down right here i'll put a b double sticker and make sure to check this sticker carefully and here it says cooling capacity which is 5000 watts in this particular example now what is cooling capacity let's understand this for a bit now any air conditioner has a particular capacity where it can transfer the heat from your indoor to outdoor because cooling is basically absence of heat right so what your ac is is it's a basically heat pump which takes heat from your room from your indoor and sends it outside the house towards the outdoor unit that is known as the cooling capacity and the problem is that companies rate their cooling capacity in watts these are thermal watts and unfortunately old school guys like us are more accustomed to hearing the cooling capacity in tons or tonnage and this is when the problem starts happening so i'll teach you first how to convert the cooling capacity in watts to tons and doing this is really easy because i've seen a lot of youtubers have made this entire process needlessly complicated and going through variety of mathematical formulas and all of that is not going to be required it's really simple just follow these steps let's take an example of an ac with cooling capacity of 5000 watts now we have to divide this 5000 watts with a magic number that is 3517 so if I divide an AC with 5000 watts with 3517, the answer is 1.42. What is this 1.42? It means that this particular AC has a genuine tonnage of 1.42 tons. Let's take this thing with a few more examples. Now this particular AC comes with a cooling capacity of 5280. If I divide it with 3517, then the answer is 1.5. So wow, so this particular AC is a genuine 1.5 ton AC. Let's take an AC with smaller capacity. So this particular thing has 3500 watts of cooling capacity. And if I divide it with 3517, you get 0 0.999 something or basically one tons. And by now you might have understood that 3517 is not a magic number. This is basically the standardized value for one ton. So any genuine one ton AC should have a cooling capacity of 3517 watts. All right, it's really simple. Now let's talk about the cheating part. Again, I'll put a B double sticker right here. And this particular AC comes with a cooling capacity of 4600 watts. And if I divide it with 3517, the answer is 1.3 tons. But this AC is listed on Amazon as 1.5 ton. Well, it might be possible that Amazon or any of these leading online sellers or even offline sellers, they, they might not have a say in this. What they do is generally they take the information which is provided from the manufacturer and they just put it on their website. So maybe we can give them the benefit of doubt. But what I feel is that such huge, such large platforms with variety of resources should at least try to fact check what information is being given to them from different air conditioning brands do you even think the same let me know in comment section below now i'll give you a bit of homework now this particular ac comes with a cooling capacity of 4400 watt convert this to tons and let me know in the 
comment section below and yes interestingly this model is also listed as 1.5 ton on amazon guys if you're not interested in doing any kind of homework i'll give you some ready figures whenever i research about variety of air conditioner brands their specifications their cooling capacity i put all of that information in my ac cheat sheet this ac cheat sheet is a really large google doc file the link is available for you guys in the description or in the first comment you can check it out go ahead open it and of course you will find a huge amount of information in that particular file guys in this particular video we are not uh, trying to expose or defame or harm any kind of brand or any kind of product i just wanted to present this information to you guys because this kind of problem with respect to cooling capacity and the cheating of cooling capacity is happening with almost all brands especially in three star so if you guys have opened my ac cheat sheet uh, pay special attention to three star models and let me know if you find something different over there and let me know in comments Let's come to the next point that is conclusion now which AC can you particularly buy look if you are buying 1.5 ton AC make sure that the minimum cooling capacity is at least 5000 watts now again since you guys are now expert in converting these things it comes down to 1.42 tons but I think that is okay because even my Samsung wind free comes with a cooling capacity of 5000 watt and it does seem to provide mostly satisfactory cooling with respect to a properly sealed room if your room is not sealed or if you have a lot of direct sunlight we will also discuss about that particular point so keep watching this video so to summarize 1.5 ton ac minimum 5000 watts 1 ton ac minimum 3500 watts of cooling capacity all right if you have large rooms or if your room gets a lot of direct sunlight if you have a lot of heat producing devices known as heat load in your room like huge gaming rigs or mining rigs or something like that then genuine 1.5 ton acs with 5200 watt cooling capacities are also available a good example is the one right here this is the one from lloyd and this lloyd stellar series has very good cooling capacity along with a plethora of features so the video will be available in the i button or in the description you can check them out for existing 1.5 ton users or let's say the fake 1.5 ton ac user which are having huge amounts of problems with respect to cooling what they can do okay if you want a really chilled experience with your ac what can you do so you guys can upgrade to so-called two ton acs and the game my friend is still the same this year companies are mentioning acs with cooling capacities ranging from 6100 to 6300 watts as two tons again if you convert these values to genuine tonnage the answer will be 1.7 to 1.8 but i feel that okay these so-called uh, two ton acs are decently suited for room sizes from 170 to 190 square feet if your room is really large like say a hall or if there's a lot of heat in your room due to various heat producing devices then genuine 2.2 ton models are also available affiliate links for all of these particular models are available in the description below or in the first comment if you are purchasing the ac online make sure to use their affiliate link so that you can support my work and we can continue to provide quality video experiences for you guys now cooling capacity is one thing but other than cooling capacity there can be different kinds of problems different kind of cheating other than cooling capacity and all of those secrets are available right here in the bwe sticker so how to read different parameters of bwe sticker well not to worry guys because i already have a video available right here this video will teach you how to read the bwe sticker or as i call it the kundli of your ac in an expert manner so that's it for this neat little video guys make sure to like and subscribe take care and have a nice day